the Kindle page is, but um, it's 173 and it looks like this. There you go. So I think um, we'll have the team put that up on the screen in just a second. And in short, what this is on 173 is this is a uh, um, two axes. One is the you know, joy to pain and the other is time. And it characterizes the journey that we all go through as creators. And um, hands up if anybody can identify with this. <laughs> if this like, there's a lot of energy and passion. And okay, I see of the 50 people, I see 45 hands raised. I know Bar Perry, a little late to raise the hand there. I'm not going to hold it against you. Um, Mary Ellen, I saw your hand go up early. Thank you. Um, this is this is something that again knowing that this exists and knowing that you're not alone is what i find very valuable because so many of us especially early on in our career or when we're starting something new we often feel all alone that we're the first person or first um just to ever go through this or these feelings are somehow odd or obtuse and and limited to just us and the reason I put this, you know, this is only one of like six illustrations in the book. And one of the reasons I put that here is just so you wouldn't feel so alone. And for those who don't have it in front of them, essentially the project starts off where we have a lot of energy. There's some planning, some understanding of what it is that we're going to do. And then when we start actually doing where it, it, it peaks and then shortly after you begin the activity part, you actually put pen to paper, you start you know, um, you file for the business license, you open the bank account. There's this fear that sets in. That's like, Oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> oh my God. Um, this is a, a, the, the bullets on the, on the page here. This is hard. Oh my God, this sucks. And now we're below the joy. Now we're into the pain. And, and then it goes to, I suck, which is this again, this is perfectly natural, but if you keep going, whether it's on this particular project or you just keep doing, as we've referenced several times, making shitty first drafts, then you suddenly realize that this is doable, that this actually might come out and lo and behold, it might come out okay. And then you're back on the joy side of this arc. And if you're not familiar with that journey, um, I want to just ask you to turn to that and, and fold that page over and refer to it often. Um, all right. So part of what I think uh, I'd like to, to go to the Zoom community here, the folks that are in the text community and ask uh, for, I think, again, I saw 45 of the 50 people raise their hand. So I would like to hear again, just so that we realize that we're all in this together and it's not just me yapping here that um if someone is willing to share one of their experiences of being stuck and what they now on the backside of that being stuck, what actually got them out of it, you know, what, whether it was therapy or more doing or, or whatever it was, if you've had some of this in the past, I would love to hear a little story and I'm looking for a show of hands here. Okay, cool. Lots of hands up there. I'm going to go to, I think it's, is it Marcella? I'm unmuting you, Marcella Barrieri. How'd I do? You made my name so much fancier than it really is. I love it. <laughs> <Did> my best. <laughs> it's just Marcella Barriere. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I was really stuck. I did a mixed media art class. And in the art class, I created a piece that I absolutely loved. And then and I got home and wanted to create something else and for weeks did nothing. I just kept looking at all of my supplies. And finally, I, I tried to figure out why I was so successful in the art class. And it was because I wasn't thinking about it. It was just random stuff that the teacher had and you had to go up and just pick stuff that you liked. And so I made myself go to my art supplies and just said, Pick stuff that catches your eye without thinking about what you're actually going to create. And then once you have all the stuff gathered together. Yes. Marcel, your audio broke up just a little bit there. But uh, wave your hands if that sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah. Um, so 
what I love about your story is I think you said the word random and it was just like essentially doing something was better than doing nothing. Doing anything actually was the mechanism that got you unstuck, even if you weren't sure what you were doing. And I think there's a, a, a an extra special bit of wisdom embedded in there. And the wisdom is trust. Because once you've done that enough times where you just start typing, if you if you're a writer and you're looking at a blank page, if you're a painter, you just start brush strokes. Whatever endeavor, whatever your craft is, just literally walking outside, or you don't even have to go outside. I have a an assignment that I will give you this week, which is, and it's specifically uh, photography because I know we all have a phone that has a camera in it, and I don't care if you're a photographer 